Painkiller was an excellent album that Judas Priest released in the fall of 1990. This is the Rock and Roll with the Man. My name is Sean Morrison. A shout out to Jake. I know, Jake, you are a big fan of the Painkiller album. Mr. Morrison has decided to do a classic album review on Painkiller. And this this album was the band, um, um, you know, went back more in their heavier metal direction after, after you had Turbo went more to the synthesizer commercial metal and similar with Ram It Down even though it had some heavy metal spots on it but this went more heavy metal on it I'll go down all the, all the tracks on there of course the title track Painkiller Judas Priest started playing it li- live again you know I saw him doing 2015 live it's not one of my favorite Painkiller songs I, one of my favorite Priest songs but it, it's it's a great song. Don't do not get me wrong. You know, when I was at the concert, I just didn't want to hear Painkiller that night. But you know, he got the job done, Mr. Halford. Hell Patrol, another cool one. All All Guns Blazing is awesome. No complaints about um, Leather Rebel or Metal Meltdown. Two other good ones. Then we had Night Crawler, which I know. A lot of people do like. I do think it's cool too as well. One song I love as well um, is um, Between the Hammer and the Anvil. Then we have um, one that was the more commercial type, A Touch of Evil. That one's all right. That one's a, that one's decent too as well. You have the instrumental um, Battle Hymn and then it closes out with One Shot of Glory. Another excellent album. If you're not subscribed to the Show Marks and YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out to subscribe. Thank, we thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's great, greatly appreciated. Sean Morrison Enterprises is the place to go if you would like to make a small donation to the Show Marks YouTube channel. And it was the first um, album to feature drummer um, Scott Travis from Razor X. He's been in the band ever since. The last album at the time to feature Rob Halford on lead vocals until he left Judas Priest and then returned until 15 years later. To record another album, technically 1991, it ended. You know, the Pink Hill tour ended. He left shortly after that. So my favorite songs on this album are um, "All Guns Blazing," "One Shot of Glory," "Between Hammer and the Anvil." Those are my top three. Friends, what are your favorite songs? Off the Judas Priest album, Painkiller. Shame, shame, shame.